<laughs> what's up everybody it's make it make sense i'm here for another video and y'all why am i so foolish <laughs> i haven't found a secret career robins we're gonna get into it and uh nini might have to you know retract her statements on robin being starless like the video as my intro plays we're gonna have a good time today y'all <laughs> make it make sense could somebody please make it make sense Make it make sense, tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense, tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense, tell me about the things in your dreams. Let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense, tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense, tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense, tell me about the things in your dreams. Let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. And I should have known better when I seen her hair. I got a feel. <laughs> okay, guys. So, you know, we got to pay the bills. So today's sponsor is going to be the movie, the number one hit movie, Betrayals. Um, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. You can find it on, I believe, Tubi. Um, I think there's another place you could watch it. Um, it's called Plex TV. You know, Number one hit movie. You'll find out why in a minute. So if you guys remember, Nene had called Robin starless when she was on The Breakfast Club. But Nene, she's not. Robin is a bona fide actress, just like you. And I found Robin's movie, <laughs> Betrayals. So we are going to review your girl Robin's acting chops live <laughs> right now. <clears throat> She got the same IMDb as you, Nene. But if you don't remember, this is what Nene had to say. That the lady was going to become famous. Off of them. Off of them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, are they famous? Is the question. Yes. Robin and Giselle on the They're Real Housewives of Potomac. They may be they got known. A hit podcast. There's a difference between famous and known. That, no, that's true. I agree with and that. So I don't yeah. know about famous, but maybe it's known for a minute. So do you think Giselle, is Giselle famous? No. Okay, Candy is famous. So that is what Nene had to say about the girls. Now let's get into Robin's acting jobs. She may be giving Nene a run for her money. Robin's on Tubi. Nene, you're on BET Plus. Both got Tyler Perry wigs. I mean, <laughs> let's see what they had to say. Where is her movie? Ah, oh, that's just a job. Somebody must have to atone for their sins. So you down for two eleven? She talking about Juan <laughs> or Miss Canadian Bacon? Hell yeah. Let's do it. You really have to leave? Yep. I got some place to be. Am I going to see you again? They have her playing a really feminine role. Of course. Uh-huh. Damn, this phone is hot. She could award that to the reunion. No transition. <laughs> the scene just jumps. It's a long night. Not really. She was playing the lady of the night. Got it? Yes, I did. It is. Boom. Got him. So in one click, they transferred the man 17 million into this man, the man who just left into Robin's and this other man's bank account. 
One click, y'all. Movie magic. Nice. See you in a minute. So you're ready, right? Give me a second. Oscar worthy performance. So she's going to report being taken advantage of. But guys, if she had just done the do, wouldn't her hair at least have been a little messed up? So let's recreate this with my Beerman's Closet <laughs> Kim Zolciak wig. She sat on the edge of the bed. Give me a minute. Hello? <laughs> I paid $25 for that wig. We're going to get some use out of it. <laughs> so Robin is a superstar, y'all. Moving right on to Kim Zolciak. <laughs> I told you guys that there was a way that Kim could save her house. So let me get into what has happened because it's an ever-changing story. Let's see. Um, it says, Kim Zolciak's home in Alpharetta, Georgia will no longer hit the auction block on March 7 due to foreclosure. The law office of Brock and Scott, PLLC, says the auction of Kim's sprawling six-bedroom, nine-bathroom home was canceled on February 22nd. The law office refused to provide a reason for the cancellation, but said no new date has been set for the sale of the home. According to Fulton County Notice of Foreclosure posted Wednesday, Truist Bank was set to auction off the mansion on March 7 at the Fulton County Courthouse. According to the Notice of Foreclosure, as seen by ET, the foreclosure stems from Kim and her husband, Croy Beerman, defaulting on the $1.65 million loan they took out to buy the home on October 23rd. So like I told you, one way for them to have stopped it would have been for them to file bankruptcy. We don't know if they filed bankruptcy. We don't know if they were able to cut a deal. Um, I will keep my eye on the prize. Uh, technically, I can look up bankruptcies. I don't know that I'm going to do that, though. Um, but I'll keep my eye on this story. I, you know, all jokes aside. I don't want anybody to lose their house. Like I told you guys, I worked in bankruptcy. Millions of Americans go through it, and it's not like a laughing matter. Even if Kim, you know, spends crazily, and even in this ET interview, she says that daily they were spending a few thousand dollars to get the girl's hair done, like each and every day. I don't wish that on anybody to lose their home because there are little children, and that's the only home that they know. But the daughters yesterday, we're saying they're not going to lose their house. So again, you know, maybe they worked out a deal where they promised a new reality show to somebody and people have bought into it. Maybe people still feel that she's viable, but let me let you hear what they had to say. Listen, she says it's a giant misunderstanding. Don't believe everything you hear. Well, is it a misunderstanding? Yes, it is. Okay. It's not a misunderstanding. The foreclosure was filed because you're not paying your bills. Meanwhile, Brielle, the other daughter, is walking around with a Louis Vuitton bag, probably priced between eight to ten thousand. Like insane. The amount that these people spend, but you know, neither here nor there. 
came back there close to come here from our house. From, so your stuff is still in the house? Yes, everything is still there. We all live there. And there's no plan on leaving? Nope. But the auction, I'm just saying March 7th, right? We'll see you March 7th. We'll see what happens March 7th. We've been here, gone through this already in November. Is, it, is there hopes? But again, you went through it in November because you did not pay your bills. You drive a G-Wagon, but you guys can't pay the mortgage company. It is strange to know that the average American would be kicked out. But when you're wealthy or when you're famous, you know, you don't necessarily have to pay taxes every year like the rest of us. You can put it off for eight to 10 years like Giselle's husband. <laughs> the point is, for now, the auction has been halted. I will keep you guys posted. Good luck. Uh, there was a ultimate girls trip trailer that I reacted to. I will definitely put that at the end of this video. Ultimate girls trip three with Giselle, Portia, and Candace is going to be good. Leah from New York brings a little bit of the heat as well. Definitely check that out. It'll be linked. And tell me what you think of these stories. Did you know that Robin was a movie star? I did not know Robin had the, those acting chops in her. <laughs> tell me what you think. Are you tired of Kim Zolciak's story? I think, I think people are actually starting to get tired of it. So tell me what you think. I will see you guys later. Watch that trailer. It was really good.